Hello guys, welcome to Pronouncing Classical Guitar, Spanish Pieces and Composers Part 2. Composer number 1, Maximo Diego Pujol. Now, a lot of people will get this wrong and they will say Pujol or Pujol or something like this. But the J in Spanish, remember, it's a H sound. So it's pronounced Pujol with an emphasis on the last O vowel. Pujol. One more time. Maximo Diego Pujol. Composer number two that also gets mispronounced a lot, Astor Piazzolla. Okay, I get it. The double set is messing you up. In Italian, not quite sure how they say it, but he's Argentinian. So it's Astor Piazzolla. Composer number three, not very hard to mispronounce, but I will still put him in, Alonso Mudarra. But the thing about this name is that sometimes people might put the wrong accent on the wrong vowel. So they say like Mudara or something like that. But it's Mudara. And again, get those double R's working, right? <laughs> Composer number four. Again, one of the most mispronounced composers. And he also has a very important piece for the classical guitar that people keep pronouncing wrong. Joaquin Rodrigo. And the piece that is mispronounced is... Concierto de Aranjuez. People will say Concierto de Aranjuez, all sorts of kind of things. In Spanish, the CI is C, it's not Chi, nothing like that. So it's Concierto de Aranjuez. And the H, it's a H sound, not J, not Aranjuez. So it's pronounced Concierto de Aranjuez. Very mispronounced and it gives me headaches. Composer player number five, Paco de Lucia. Here's another one. People keep saying Paco de Lucia or something like this, but it's Paco de Lucia and Lucia has a accent on the I, which means you have to put the emphasis on that I and not on the U. It says Lucia and it's not Lucia, it's Paco de Lucia. Very well-known guitarist in the world. I even got to meet him one time. Composer number six. Again, not too many mispronunciations, but still, people keep getting one part wrong. Federico Moreno Torroba. And people keep saying Torroba. I don't know why they say it like this, but that's why I'm making the video, so we're gonna fix it. Composer and player number seven, Miguel Llobet. And I know what you're thinking, it's a double L that's messing you up. And hey, it messed me up too. I didn't even know he was Spanish until a few years I started playing classical guitar. But yes, Miguel Llobet. Now people will say Lobet, Lobet, Lobet. And also people get confused with Miguel. They, they forget that in Spanish, the G-U-E is just the que. So it's Miguel Llobet. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's gonna help you with your guitar journey and of course to introduce these pieces and not be shy once you get to play them on the big stage. Take care and see you next time.